once a month, the first Monday of the month, we've got a team meeting with the whole team. We normally have a quality breakfast of eggs, last time was breakfast sandwiches, but someone's idea was to have yogurt and fruit. It was my idea. Something healthy. Also for a breakfast sandwich. A handmade omelet. Some sausage. A little bit of meat, some bacon maybe. Not yogurt. Not curdled milk. Fruit. It's gross. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, y'all. See this? Please, I'm ready. I'm ready, dog, I'm ready. I'm making Ben Lau an audio lab sign. I'm thinking like some kind of script lettering. I went down to ask him what inspires him, and he said that's not his world. Design is not his world. So, I asked him what kind of equipment he liked, what brands he liked, and he's always wearing that jacket that he has that has, it's like black with pink pinstripes. Yeah, the track jacket. I think I'm gonna try to use those like neon pink pinstripes somewhere because he's got those like neon headphones. That's kind of like a little doodad that I'm, layout that I'm thinking about. Ooh. When you're zooming in and out of focus, it's like shoo. That's it. All right, we are going to see Kevin's new space for the first time over there in the park trades. So we'll see if we can find him. talking about how like he's never been super into music but he was saying how lately he's been thinking about different ways that music like taking music at face value as opposed to always listening to a song and thinking deep about what the intentionality was behind it or the meaning behind it some people just listen to music and just appreciate it and just that face value and how it makes them feel uh, but he was saying we were talking about how he's been lately kind of playing around with the piano at Rhino and just like saying hey Jordan this is for you and like plunking down a, a chord that really is a nonsensical chord or whatever. But because he assigned meaning to it by saying, hey Jordan, this is for you, all of a sudden it kind of becomes something and it kind of has, it almost sounds different than if you just plunked it. Even arbitrarily, I said, hey, this is for you. Hey Dan, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Play a little note. It's kind of interesting. You think about how that impacts people on a, a concert level, how much more meaningful it is when an artist says like, this song is for blank, and then you play that song and then how people can connect to it. And then if someone dedicated a song to you, how meaningful that might be. So I thought that was really cool. There's two roles, right? There's a role, which would be your interview um, or the speaker, and B role is the supporting footage. Mm. Do they just label them A and B for like A is most important, B is your supporting? Or does the A and B stand for something? 
you know? No, it's like A is, A role is your primary, B role is your supporting or alternate footage. Here's your A role, most important. Here's your B role, supporting. 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 Important, most important, supporting. Thank you. Very important stuff. So one, because they kind of need each other. Yes, they need each other. I just yeah. learned that. I didn't know that they were To be honest with you, I haven't been around much this week um, because I have been moving into my new studio and I uh, just want to dispel any myths or rumors that I'm leaving the company because that's obviously not the case. Rhino is my home. Uh, but what we're doing basically is Rhino has been growing so much over the last seven years. We're up to 20 people or whatever. And I have to do a lot of work within the company and I have to do a lot of work on the company. And I kind of realized that I need like a separate space to do my thinking and strategy and a little bit more free range to write on walls and walls and whiteboards. So I rented the space and I'm really excited about it because it's kind of like my own personal studio to do whatever thinking I need to do. I'm super stoked about that and that's what I've been doing. Johnny helped me move. He uh, decided to carry my old standing desk on his head over here. I think we have footage of that. And um, I know that a lot of the team's been cranking out on projects and like editing a lot. We haven't had a ton of shoots this week, so um, I don't know if we have any super exciting footage to show you guys, but um, we have some pretty fun stuff coming up. I know we have a trip to Alaska coming up, a trip to Hawaii coming up, a trip to Washington DC coming up, a trip to Bozeman, Montana coming up. So we have a lot of fun stuff on the way. Ah! Scooby.